What's up? Hey, what's up? Yeah, you got a package. You got a package. It's right over here. Come on. Come on, you got a package. It's in the garage. Let's open it up. Special delivery for the deer just landed. Let's see what they got. This was not for me. I'm trying to do this with one hand and film it with one hand while they're out there impatiently waiting. Look at that. Perfect timing, too. My cameraman just showed up. Just uh, opening this package here for the deer. Just a little 10 pounder. Look what it is, come here. This is for you, dudes. It's all for you. Look at her. She's like, bro, don't mess with me. Come here. Please. Here we go. Give me a little one. Two. A little 10 pound sack of almond for my dear homie. Yeah, we thought we'd uh, kick this one off a little deer unboxing. The homies, they're real skittish, man. Got preggers over there, so they're like, hey, we're vulnerable right now. So, anyways, let's roll the rest of the video. This is the intro to whatever video we're shooting right now. Whatever the title says, that's the video. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, get out of there. Those are not yours. Those are for the deer, bro. My man. That's my man right there. That's my boy. How you living, Cooper? You good? Hello and welcome. What's up, everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. As you can see, I'm out front, out here by the boat, playing tackle box and getting a couple rods rigged up. Last time I did a video like this, you guys seemed to enjoy it. So I'm gonna set the camera up and just hang out with you guys, let you guys see what I'm getting set up on the rods as we move into the post-spawn phase here in Texas. So that will be the name of the game for this one. I'm gonna throw the camera up on the tripod here in the boat, hop up in the front. And we're gonna rig up everything that needs to be rigged up. I've got some stuff that needs to be re-spooled. We're gonna make some bait adjustments and we're gonna get ready for our next trip out on the water. Yeah, so let's do it. Let's go ahead and jump off into it. I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, deer footage there at the beginning. We gotta go over here and get Enzo, get him back in the house. Come on, buddy. Come on, Enzo. Enzo, inside. Good boy. Cooper, go. Turn around. Come on, let's go inside. Come on, go. Go, go, go. We gotta go get the trap on. got a couple things to do we got some rod rigging to do we got some bait rigging we got some setup adjustments to make but first I do have some setups over here that are dialed they're like locked in these are the ones that I feel like I'm not gonna change at least for right now so I wanted to run through these really quick and show you a few of my setups that I'm using right now to catch fish that I do not plan on adjusting first up let's do something fun we'll start with the big bait setup this is my big swim bait setup this is the mf -er series 79 extra heavy fast action swim bait rod have that paired up with a shimano corrado 300 25 pound cigar fluorocarbon that's a six cents draw glide bait it's a big nine inch glide and this setup right here is perfect for throwing around the big draw they just drop some new colors in the draw but i'm usually throwing this bone right here and this is the way that i like to get it done that corrado 300 big beefed up reel that is suitable for throwing the heavier baits and that mf or swim bait rod i found is my favorite rod for chunking the draw so far next up this one right here also dialed not gonna change all summer you will see me throwing this this is my plopper setup this is a 7.5 heavy fast heater series rod this is my signature series of fishing rods through six cents got that paired up with the shimano corrado 200 7.4 to 1 gear ratio 50 pound braid straight to the bait that's a 110 plopper that's an old beat up ghost shad color plopper there caught a lot of fish on this bait and there's a little owner hyper wire split ring attached to a six cents gyro swivel that's just a little pro tip to help you guys keep your whopper ploppers from spinning twisting up your braid but yeah that 75 heavy fast heater series straight braid to the plopper you won't see me changing that one out anytime soon. All right, I'm pretty much just grabbing these at random now. Also, it never fails anytime I come out here and turn the camera on in the boat. 
it starts like sprinkling rain and trying to rain on us but we're gonna keep it rolling straight up I copied Ben on this one I went fishing with Ben he had his Jerk bait set up with the 610 medium ESP series rod. I ended up picking his up, fished with it for a little bit, and absolutely love this rod for throwing the provoke. So this is my jerk bait setup. 610 medium ESP series, Shimano SLX DC 7.2 to 1 gear ratio, provoke 106X jerk bait. That's my jerk bait setup. Next up, this is one that you guys have been seeing me throw a lot here lately. One that I've been throwing for like the past three days straight. This is my catwalk setup. Heater series, again, 6'9", medium, moderate. Shimano Corrado DC, again, 50 pound braid, straight to the bait. And this one right here, straight dialed. Not changing it anytime soon. This is my walking bait setup. I use this to throw the catwalk, the dogma. This is your setup right here, man. You can walk all day long with this. I love it not gonna change it it's dialed been smashing them on that setup it's been in my hands like 95 percent of the time here lately next up this is another one that i've been smashing them on this is the new krub from six cents fishing this is soft plastic that they recently dropped it's a craw style tube bait the krub craw plus tube equals krub and right now i have this on a setup that is versatile but will not be changing anytime soon this is like flagship setup right here seven foot four inch medium heavy mod fast heater series with the Shimano Metanium that's that JDM Metanium straight fire this is like my favorite setup I use this for everything from Texas rigs swim jigs you guys know the deal the heater series swim jig rod but right now using it to throw that little TR crew and I love the 74 medium heavy mod fast for like a lighter Texas rig. I like a little bit of backbone when I'm fishing a Texas rig. You guys know me, man. I, I swing away like Merrill when uh, when I think they've got it. So I like a little bit of a stiffer rod even when I'm fishing a little quarter ounce T-rig like that. The seven foot four inch medium heavy heater series. This one right here, dialed, not changing. It's my swim jig setup too, guys. But we're gonna take a look at the swim jig right now. The fact is I always have a swim jig heater rigged up. This is another 7.4 medium heavy mod fast. This one has just got a Corrado 200 on it. And that right there is that Devon swim jig that you guys saw me rig up in a recent video. And that is another one of these setups that I feel is straight dialed. Really? These should be swapped. The TR should be over here and the swim jig should be over here. But sometimes when you're out there on the boat and you're fishing, you're trying to save time you just grab what you got at your disposal you get rigged up and you go and that's probably what happened here it doesn't really matter but i prefer to throw my swim jig over here on the metanium because it's just a smoother reel the metanium is straight butter and it's more fun to fish with but that being said that corrado 200 is an amazing reel and really when you're blowing and going can you really really tell the difference not really so Either one of these reels right here, excellent option. Both of these setups are dialed. Next up, this is my square bill, my small square bill setup right here. This one's money. This is the 6.9 medium mod fast heater series, SLX DC 70 reel, 12 pound fluorocarbon, and that's that little ghost bone minnow crush 50X. My favorite square bill crankbait, this one right here, straight dialed. Now that it's post spawn, we're gonna be banging a square bill around shallow a lot. So stay tuned for that if you guys like square bill fishing. Next up, this one right here, straight dial. The frog setup, this is the new Vega frog rod from Six Sense Fishing. It's a 7.3 heavy fast. It's built to frog, specifically for the Vega frog. Got it rigged up there with a Gark Oil Vega frog. Paired up with a Corrado DC 150 straight braid, of course. And this setup right here, straight dial for the frog, leaving it alone. Two more that are dialed, and then we'll get to some rigging. This one right here, I fished with it a lot yesterday with this bait for the first time. This is a Crush 100X square bill, and I've got that on a 7.5 medium mod heater series rod. There's still a few of these left. We're sold out of a few of the heater series models on the website, but this rod right here is still available, sort of slept on. It is a sleeper, but it's a sleeper heater, and it's dialed for this Crush 100X. Now, smacking them out there on this yesterday. Also, lipless, the Snatch 70 the Quake 70, the 80. All of those baits run great with the 7.5 medium 
heater series rod. Check it out, sixcentsfishing.com. Use my code JR10, it knocks $35 off the price of the rods. So go check this one out if you guys like throwing a square bill around, post spawn, or a lipless. This one right here, straight dialed, not gonna change it. Got it paired up with a Corrado 150 and some 15 pound fluorocarbon because when I'm fishing up there shallow, got millions of zebra mussels on my lake, so I've upped my line size just a little bit to help with some of that, uh, that abrasion resistance. But man, it's tough. Still have to retie a whole lot. I found that really it doesn't affect the square bill too much because generally I'm fishing this thing super shallow, so a little bit heavier line is okay. Still running 12 on most of my cranking setups though. All right, last but not least, this is a setup that again is dialed. It's not gonna be changing, but we are gonna change the bait on it. You guys saw my recent unboxing video. You heard me talk about a tackle warehouse order that was split up. Second part of that shipment finally ended up arriving, but it wasn't enough for me to film a full unboxing. So I opened it on my own, my apologies. One of the baits that was in that box is this Matt Lures Hardgill. Went out and fished with it, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, was not impressed with the uh, action on this particular bait. Matt Lures does make some really awesome soft baits, but for whatever reason, this uh, Hardgill probably, I think, needs to be tuned or something at least to get it swimming right. But this setup, however, is absolutely dialed. This is my trace setup, Shimano Corrado 150, 20 pound fluorocarbon, Sensory Series 7.7 Heavy Fast, and we're gonna get a trace tied onto this bad boy right now. This one's dialed, it's not changing. We just gotta change the bait out, and that will carry us, that will transition us into the tackle rigging and rod adjusting phase of the video. And I just so happen to have one of the new Fast Sync traces right here. They just dropped the fast sync version of the trace on sixcentsfishing.com. If you guys want to get down there into a little bit deeper water with a swim bait, they got you covered now. This is the Bone Pearl. It's probably my favorite color, but I did hear recently that there might be a new color coming. A color that you guys have seen here on the channel before that's currently not available that might be available soon. Don't quote me on that, but if it does happen, it's gonna one up this bone by just a little bit. You guys know I love throwing the bone. This is the fast sync version. Check out the trace on sixcentsfishing.com. Use my code JR10 for 10% off everything on the website. That's the way to secure the heaters, save the bread, and of course, support the channel at the same time if you guys enjoy these videos. If you like hanging out with me out here in the boat, if you like going fishing, if you like watching the unboxings, and you wanna support the channel, using that JR10 code is absolutely the best number one way to do that. Support the people who support me. Six Cents Fishing, small, family-run, Texas company. You guys can go watch my tour video where we went and walked through Six Cents headquarters and met everybody at the HQ. That was an awesome video. And Six Cents is the kind of company and the kind of people that I like to work with and support. They've always taken really good care of us and we could not do what we do without them. So shout out to Six Cents Fishing and shout out to the Trace one of the baddest swim baits I've ever thrown. I've caught so many monster fish on this bait right here. I actually recently did a little social media spot with Six Sense on this bait. You guys can go check it out on the official Six Sense YouTube channel. That was cool to be a part of that. I did a little bait breakdown. Told you guys some of my favorite techniques when it comes to fishing the trace. I think you guys will enjoy that short little video that I did with the Six. Go check it out if I remember. I'll link it below down in the video description. And if I don't remember, somebody remind me in the comments and I'll link it there. But there's my trace setup. The Sensory Series 77 Heavy Fast Corrado DC and that Fast Sync Bone. Sweet. Now we got some adjustments to make. We gotta move a couple reels around, cut some baits off, change some soft plastics around, and we're gonna rig up one of those new baits that we unboxed in that unboxing video just a couple vids back. First up, weightless flush heater. This is my weightless flush, my weightless fluke setup, my weightless fluke heater, but it's not a heater series. This is a Lux series. Lux, Latin for light. This is a rod that I cannot bear to part with. This is a rod that I've caught so many fish on, and I use this right here to fish the flush or the fluke weightless, and I'm gonna get it dialed right now with the reel that I prefer to do that job with. This one right here, Shimano Corrado 70. The Corrado 70, low profile, straight money for fishing something like a weightless fluke, a weightless flush, or even a frog. You don't want to spool up a ton of braid. But 
what do I got to do here? It's a little dirty. Go ahead and give it a little rub down, you know, clean it off if you will. Spit shine, good enough. Get her suited and booted with the 70. We're good to go. She's laced and graced with my favorite reel for throwing this little morsel right here. The weightless flush. It's about to be on, dude, shad spawn time. It's my favorite time to throw this bait. Dude, go back and watch my shad spawn videos with the weightless flush and weightless fluke here in the past. You can watch me catch like 40 fish in a row without even moving the boat. Too much fun. San Diego jam would be the way. One more adjustment. I want to change out the color. You've served your country well, sir, but I want to throw one of these. The new new, Shad Pearl. Something a little brighter, a little wider. So that's what we're going to do. Boom, and just like that, you guys see what I did? That's how easy it is to mess up. I have to start all over. I forgot to feed the line through the line guide on the reel, so. Yep, yep. Ask me if that's the first time that's ever happened. Think that's the first time I've ever done that? Go down in the comments right now and let me know if you guys have ever done that. Let's go ahead and do that twice, shall we? All right, well, we rigged that one up twice. No big deal, got her fixed. Obviously, if we don't take the time to correct that and feed the line back through the line guide, when you make a cast and reel your line back in, it's not gonna go back on the spool evenly across. It's just gonna all spool up on top of itself in one place. So that's why you have to do that. You can't skip that step. You guys already knew that though. And that setup right there, is now dialed. All right, next up guys, this is my chatterbait setup. You guys saw me rig this jackhammer up in a recent video. That's that new six sack exclusive flush on the back of an evergreen jackhammer. Been throwing it around, got bit on it, missed the fish on it. I'm gonna try something that you guys recommended with one of these new baits that we got recently. So, first things first, I showed you guys these big bite baits, 3.75 kamikaze swim-ons. You drop the knowledge down in the comments and you let me know, hey, those pair up insanely well with that little mini max chatterbait. So that's what we're gonna rig up on this setup right now. Got a little half ounce spot remover chatterbait. And this is that little smoky gold, big bite baits kamikaze swim on. Let's rig it up, downsize our profile. See if we can stick a couple fish with one of these swim ons on the back of a little mini max. I have caught fish on the mini max before, but I've just been throwing the bluegill colors. This right here, it's got me wanting to try this bad boy. Spot remover, obviously that's one of their popular colors. Shad style, I like the, the unpainted lead head. Smaller blade on the Mini Max, just a smaller finesse profile. Something a little different from that stealth blade. Still has the flash metal blade. Again, unpainted head, this is a half ounce though. Went a little heavier. Skirt on that spot remover has just a little bit of chartreuse in it. That's what gives it that unique look. But let's rig this first ever Kamikaze Swim On onto a Mini Max. See what she looks like. Am I doing this right? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Shout out to everybody that, that told me what was up in the comments and said, hey, that's the one for the Mini Max. I listen. I'm learning with you guys. I'm not a professional bass angler. I'm not even that good of an angler. I am in the middle of my bass fishing and learning journey right here with you guys on this channel. And I think that's why a lot of people can relate to me here. And I think that's one of the reasons why we have one of the fastest growing channels on the tube. Because I'm doing it for the every man. I'm not a pro, you know. I haven't been targeting largemouth bass my whole life. Yes, I've been fishing my whole life. But this is a skill that I've been honing from a boat now for just shy of like three or four years. So yeah, we're learning together. Thank you to everybody for helping me learn. I appreciate all the feedback that I get in the comments and that right there <laughs> is straight fire. I see why you guys were saying that. That's the profile. I can't wait to get out there and throw this. I'm gonna get it rigged up on my chatterbait setup, my bladed jig setup right here. 7.2 medium heavy mod fast heater series rod. That's what we're going with. I got it paired up with the Corrado 200 and I love this setup for throwing the chatterbait. If you guys watch my Choke Canyon series, you saw me out there absolutely obliterating them on this setup right here. It's money straight dialed for a bladed jig. If you're looking for a good bladed jig rod, 7.2 medium heavy mod fast heater series. And I think Tackle Warehouse has that sucker in stock if 
you're trying to find it. <laughs> Crazy. Never, that's a sentence I never thought I'd say. My signature rods are available on Tackle Warehouse. I have no affiliation with old T-Dub. I just know they got my rods available. I do order a lot of tackle from those boys though, as I'm sure many of you do as well. There we go. Chatterbait Mini Max Kamikaze Swim On, Smoky Gold on the 7.2 Medium Heavy Mod Fast Heater Series. Dude, come on, buddy. I mean, come on, buddy. Yep, I feel like that one right there is now dialed. Next one we gotta work on though is this one right here. This is another 7.5 medium. Ugh. But I have an idea for it. First off, it needs to be restrung. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. Not gonna make you guys sit through me restringing uh, a rod, but this is a pretty shot. So I'm going to pull this off and I'm gonna get her spooled up with some fresh 12 pound fluorocarbon. Stand by. All right, so after digging through the whole boat and all in the garage, it turns out that I don't have any 12 pound fluorocarbon. So I had to order some, it's on the way. And once it gets here and I get this re-spooled, it will be dialed. Let me tell you what it's gonna be dialed for. Those lipless crankbaits I was telling you about. I was throwing lipless around on this setup right here with the SLX DC 6.3 to 1 gear ratio. Also, I got a setup with this reel and I want to put 12 on it specifically so that I can throw the Curve 55. So that's what this setup will be dialed in for eventually. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to finish it in this video. Let's get off the boat. Oh my gosh, we got to go. We don't want to ruin this camera. The camera is more expensive than the three dollars this video is gonna make us all right i'm up here in the garage now rain started falling down on me it's actually starting to clear up and get a little sunny now so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here shoot the outro circling back to what i was talking about earlier as we're on this learning journey together here on the channel like i said i do feel like that is why so many people can relate to what we have going on over here and that's something that sets us apart from a lot of the other super popular really big fishing channels that are here on YouTube. You know, you got a lot of your tournament guys, and you have your big name social media guys that have been doing this kind of stuff forever. And then you have like the little guy over here trying to do it for the every man, you know? Good old fashioned hard work. I'm one of those maniacs that still just fishes for fun, you know? I don't do it competitively. I'm not a tournament angler. I'm not a professional angler. I'm really something else i'm something different i'm i'm jr i'm justin royal i'm just me doing my thing learning right there along with you guys i often get comments and messages from you guys telling me how i've helped you learn about bass fishing and helped you catch more fish helped you try things that you wouldn't have thought of to try before and that goes both ways man it's a two-way street you guys have absolutely helped me learn and taught me things as well so I gotta say thank you for all the interaction and for all the guidance and education that you guys have left me in the comments and in the messages, uh, giving me tips and tricks, helping me become better as an angler. That little Chatterbait Mini Max with the Kamikaze Swim On and that smaller profile is just one example of that. That's just uh, something that's happened repeatedly here on the channel, something I was thinking about as we were shooting this video, so something I wanted to talk about a little bit more as we wrap it up. If you guys wanna check out my signature series of fishing rods, or any of the baits that I talked about from Six Sense that you saw here in this video, check out SixSenseFishing.com and use my code JR10 at checkout to secure the heaters and save the bread. That code is gonna help you save 10% off everything on their website. It's also gonna go towards supporting the channel, helping us keep the cameras on so that we can keep making these free fishing videos for you guys here on YouTube. I sincerely appreciate you all. The JR10 Army is strong. Speaking of armies, the Heater Army continues to grow. That's our little name for anyone who chooses to become a channel member over here on YouTube. If you'd like to go above and beyond and join the Heater Army, you can click that little button down below the video to learn more about that. But without the Heater Army, without the JR10 Army, without you guys, nothing happens so i sincerely appreciate you all for taking time out of your day to watch this video but that's about all i got for you today man that about does it that about wraps her on up so i'm gonna say goodbye for now but i'll see you on the next one peace and Merlin, African Goose.